You make heaters that mine Bitcoin and pay people. So that's where it has to be. What year was that? Because, I mean, you guys, like I said, were pretty early on in this. Like, in this yeah, that was 2018. We started down that road. We, we took over our landlord, actually, from one of our sites. We took a space in our shop, doing our R&D facility. Within months, we were heating her shop. By late, early 2019, we had taken, built some engineered but home-built units that we replaced the heat in the local ski lodge. So the ski lodge here in Labrador West, the nonprofit ski lodge, been, was built in 1965 or something. We used to host World Downhill Ski Championships. Very poor insulation, obviously, for this building that was built 80 years ago or whatnot. We went in and replaced the heaters with S9 versions of our furnace that basically removed the noisy fans, put one central fan and started pressurizing the building with heat. So since early 2019, we had actually donated the heat to this nonprofit, basically donation in lieu of rent. We donate the power bill. We actually get the Bitcoin from the operation. So it's, it's a great way to donate really, but that was 2019. And then at that point, we're like, okay, well, we need to build something that we can certify, that we can install anywhere, air handling furnace. By late 2020, COVID came on, so it slowed us down, obviously, a little bit. But we put our first unit in our own building in Goose Bay in 2021, 600 volt, 80 kilowatt furnace. So it actually has 21 watts of miners hung up inside of it, fully automated to be able to dump heat into the building or dump heat out of the building. Transformer. And that's a huge furnace, 21 machines. I mean, no one yeah. is really building at that scale. And this is kind of where you guys started, which was let's heat at how much square foot? Or That's about 10,000 square feet in our climate. And that was kind of the thing. You'll get free heat. We get the Bitcoin. Don't, you don't need to understand any of that. We'll maintain the internet connection to it. We'll, we'll change the filters because we obviously want the best uptime for our equipment. So that was the way to get people who don't need to really understand what's going on. 